This may be no a shock for you if you watch my videos. <laughs> but I like animals more than humans. One of the reasons of that is because animals have nothing hurt me. Humans, therefore, have hurt me a lot in school. If you know it, I have to watch my videos. My school was in hell. Maybe one, some of you think, oh, there's a white boy that complained about the school. Yes, I can understand that. But my life of school was actually not fun. I. There, there actually, I have also some times uh, tried to kill me because I've been different than most people. I don't can I can't don't can handle it. I cannot uh, handle injustice or inequality, and I come up where I stand for. But the times are also not always the courage to do that. So I was in the time a little bit inconsistent. Also, sometimes today, uh, absolutely not anymore. <laughs> be so consistent as can possible be, and that's confusing for a lot of people because most people be not so consistent and they also don't use logic a lot of times, but do what think that they're being most popular or something like that. I can see it as a kind of instinct or something like that. A certain national gut instinct, <laughs> which I don't possess because I also don't like to talk about that topic. But I have a form of artism, and I are intelligent spectrum. Uh, But there was a time that their thing that was not so. In that time, I was pretty lazy in a lot of parts, and I only want to do what I want. I cannot uh, work with um, that normal system where I have normal that um, syllabus uh, system. That um, is actually the System that uh, of schools in the Western countries uh, have, um, let's say that you have to learn on school and whatnot. Put in the description and also on the screen now. Um, if you want to search it, but the city syllabus um, is not so a thing that work my. I, I, I have a strict something in my heart what I want to learn and what I not want to learn. And in that time I only want to learn about history and and about mythology and a lot of other from that stuff. Also um, so, some science um, find I so certain degree in degree interesting. Uh, some part of Matica, but there's not anything and I also um, hated a lot of the people there because I found them arrogant. And I have a very good sense for people that do er being arrogant, and I don't can handle arrogance and superficial. For my anything of to be logic, that's one of the reasons that I a lot of times also shock maybe some people 
that I say that uh, I rather choose uh, that I choose to um, be uh, true to myself and encourage my own abhorrence. Uh, what what I mean with that is that I want to be honest and that I don't want to stand for something that I not truly understand. Most people say that they understand it, but they know it. They understand it not. There's a big difference between the two. If you not can explain it simply, you don't understand it good enough. That's what Albert Einstein once have said. What I mean with that is that you can know something, but you also don't can understand it or something like that. Um, how to explain that? Um, you read a book and you know what it has been in a book, but you don't know the message of the book, what the book wants to told, the deeper meaning of the book. Maybe the word is maybe it is a little bit weird for you, but some of you will understand it. <sighs> yes, but now back to animals. One of the reasons that I being vegan, that I choose to be vegan, and that I don't make ex ever make any little bit of excuse for protein or bacon or so. Thing like that, or cheese, or but um, clothing, or what I just uh, put it away, and that makes me sometimes so in annoying that people come up with that stuff. It's because I have nothing to make that stuff up. You have to understand, I um, I being logic, I don't want to har be harmed so. It's logical to become vegan, in my opinion. And anybody that says that's not logical is insane in my eyes. Not just, just to, as somebody say, oh, it is logical to uh, rape or something like, or eat humans because uh, humans have done it for centuries. Cannibals use also that. They say also, how can you say that I don't have to do it because humans have eat humans for centuries? It is. Even the first form of flesh humans eat. Human brains. Do you shook function? And now also because I've been so much bullied, understand the concept of uh, how it feels to be a victim. The only thing that I not know for a long time was uh, that the war industry would be so cruel and that the uh, honey industry would be also so cruel. It's the last thing that I actually think that I've put away. But when I know that queen bees being practically uh, they've been the way of transportation we take away from her, her wings being ripped off, and also when I now learn that uh, honey is the vomit of a bee, and that it actually go in the vomit stomach of one bee. Yes, bees have a vomit stomach. Look all this picture. And also, when I learned that bees use honey for isolation for their hives, and that the bees die off, and that the bee keepers feed the bees high 
corn, high fructose corn syrup. And that's the wool industry murdered their uh, sheep when they no longer produce a huge amount of wool. And then they put, put for um, sheep, sh sheep flesh or uh, something like that. Greed, corruption, and absolute power. That is the ones that rules the government. Not saving life or fighting crimes. Just being just social relationship talks. They don't give about your life. They don't give about my life. They give about this. And I only want you to tell the truth. Please do the right thing and go vegan. Eat beans, eat lentils, eat lagoons, eat tofu, eat Santa. I don't care as long as you let the animals alone. They want not to be your victim. Just like you want to not to be their victim. They don't can speak for themselves. And therefore you nothing will stop hearing my voice. Because that's what justice been. They don't stop when the oppressor. The exterminist. Want it. Stop when the injustice stop. In revolutions, you've always two sides. You have the more radical part, and you have the um, politically correct part. Radical have in this time get a uh, negative connotation, uh, but what? Radical actually means is that you go to the root actually from problem. Radical comes from the Latin word for root, and root means that you can actually go to the root, the root of a problem. If you know what, I, if you understand it. And what radicals do is they don't circle around the problem then go in the problem and clear it that's what the true definition of uh, radical mean it is actually neutral from its origin I would think about it and think also about what I have today. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. I do any day from the, from the week at least one video, sometimes also on the weekend. Sub uh, hit the bell and subscribe. And I see you next time. Peace begins on the dinner table.